when we pray for one, we're asking God, God, please give me one person to share your love with. And I don't like just talking about it. Anytime I mention it, I actually want to do it. And you can do it with me. It's as simple as saying, God, please give me one person to share your love with. Let's do that together. God, please give me one person to share your love with. Mm, yes. Now, that, that's a prayer that we have great confidence in knowing that God wants to answer, and, and he will do those things. He will give us people to share his love with. Now, when we pray for one, one of the things that happens is we realize, well, it could be someone, anyone, or everyone. And, and so what happens is, is yes, he gives us some ones. He lays specific people on our hearts to share his love with. You know, our family members and our friends and neighbors and people that we encounter, people whose faces and names we actually know and put together. But there's also the idea that it could be anyone. And that's one of my favorite things about praying for one is just the realization, well, wait a minute, um, I'm in on what God's doing. And so as I go about, quote unquote, my day, it's really his day. And what's he up to? And who might I encounter? And who might be an anyone that I could share God's love with? And so as it, we come to Christmas time, and we're enjoying celebrating Christmas, I, I think it's important to realize that Christmas really is for anyone. Those any ones that we come in contact with, but at other occasions and on other days, maybe we've overlooked them, just looked past them. Maybe it's a, a person that, uh, you know, we didn't stop to, to catch his or her name, or, or maybe it's uh, somebody that, you know, we only saw that one time. But God might be doing something, and Christmas is for that anyone. And so as you think about that this Christmas and as you pray for one, realize that Christmas really is for those anyones. And God might be using you to help extend a very Merry Christmas to those anyones. And so God, please give me one person to share your love with. Well, yes, uh, those someones in my life, I, I definitely want to go out of my way and pay attention and look for opportunities to share God's love. But what about the anyones? The ones that I encounter, the the people who deliver things to my door, uh, the person I might encounter in the checkout line, uh, maybe another driver on the road or somebody who needs some help. Here is an opportunity for us to be keenly aware that, that the beauty of Christmas is for anyone. And we all need Christmas. Not just me, not just you, not just our family, not just our close friends and neighbors, not just our coworkers, but really anyone is in need of Christmas. And Christmas is for everyone. And so as we celebrate this Christmas, one of my, I think one of my best encouragements to you is to really be thinking, okay, who are my anyones? To get your head up, to pay attention, uh, to look around you, to make eye contact. I know in this time of social distancing where we're wearing masks, uh, maybe you think smiling doesn't matter anymore. That's where you're wrong. Smiling absolutely matters. They may not be able to see your mouth, but they'll see it in your eyes. And so smile. Extend a Merry Christmas. Take time to look at people and to listen. And I promise you, God is going to give you an opportunity this Christmas to share his love with an anyone. And who knows, maybe you'll make a new friend this Christmas, but not just for here and now. Maybe you'll make a new brother or sister in the family of God, and they'll be with him and with you and with us and all of eternity in his kingdom. That would be a very Merry Christmas indeed. So look out for those everyones, and let's go and share God's love, church.